Hey everybody, welcome back to another video on the series of messages that we're doing on Jesus's last seven words. Today we're going to focus on Jesus's fifth word, where he says, while he's on the cross, I thirst. Jesus says, I thirst. And we find these words in, in the Bible in John chapter 19, verse 28. And I'm going to read it right before we get into the word. It says, after this, Jesus, knowing that all things were now accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, said, I thirst. Jesus says these words, I thirst. When Jesus is saying, when Jesus said this, he was not talking from a physical standpoint. Instead, he was talking from a spiritual standpoint. How do we know this? There's a story in the Bible where Jesus is talking to a woman from the well. They're having a conversation. Jesus asks for, for something to drink. And she says, how are you coming to me to ask for a drink? If I am a Samaritan, you shouldn't be doing that. And Jesus says, if you knew who was asking for something to drink, you would give them. He later goes on to says, he later goes on to say, whoever drinks of this water will thirst again. But whoever drinks of the water that I shall give him will never thirst. But the water that I shall give him will become in him a fountain of water springing up into everlasting life. John 6, 35, Jesus says, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall never hunger. He who believes in me shall never thirst. Shall never thirst. Jesus says on the cross, he says, I thirst. But he's talking from a spiritual standpoint. I believe physically he had to have been thirsty. Through all the pain that he was going through, all the suffering, all the torture that he was dealing with. He had to have been thirsty, but he was speaking to his own self spiritually. Why? We know this because in Jesus's fourth word, he says, God, why have you forsaken me? Why does Jesus say this? Because he was separated from the father. When he was on the cross, everything that he dealt with, he was separated from the father. He was separated from God. So when Jesus says, I thirst, he was in need of God. He was in need of the presence of God. He was thirsty for it. I want to ask you today. I want to ask you while you're watching this video. What are you thirsty for? What are you thirsty for? Many of us as humans, especially as young people, we are thirsty for something. We are in need of something. Maybe you're thirsty for money. Maybe you're thirsty for fame. Maybe you're thirsty for material things, for drugs, thirsty for alcohol, thirsty for women. What are you thirsty for? I want to tell you today that the only thing, the only thing that will fill that need, that thirst that you have inside is the presence of God, is the Holy Spirit. The only thing that will fulfill that need, that thirst is the Holy Spirit. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 2, verse 16 and 17, it says, For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world is passing away, and the lust of it. But he who does the will of God abides forever. The only thing that will fulfill that, that void, that need in your spirit, in your heart, it's not money, it's not fame, it's not drugs, it's not alcohol, it's not sex. The only thing that will fulfill that need is the presence of God, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Stay tuned for more content. Like, subscribe. There's more to come. God bless you. Peace, y'all.